What's up guys, it's LuPG13 here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys the 5 finalists in the 500 subscriber map contest. So without further ado, let's get into it. In 5th place, we have Triple Stop by Xcalio. This map features three different areas for each player to position themselves. The team in control will be wall peeking quite a bit in order to maintain control of mid, while the other team hides in their respective bushes looking for an opening. Having three separate bush patches in each lane really drives home the fact that this game mode is all about control. Once you lose control of these bushes, it's pretty hard to gain it back. In fourth place, we have Butter Biscuits by David Lewis. This is a fairly defensive heist map with the walls in front of the safe and mid being decently bushy with plenty of solid horizontal cover to hold positioning. Despite this defensive nature, pushing up the map is a breeze because of its wide lanes. In third place, we have Oasis Outpost by Elissimo. The speed tiles on this map are really useful for falling back and evading enemy fire. The bush design encourages ambushing and pushing up the map, and the walls provide plenty of horizontal cover. This map also features wide lanes that help the flow of the map, but the bush design also complements it with long vertical patches of grass. In second place, we have Backstage Capture by Strawberry God. This map is basically split, but it's actually playable. The giant bush is really effective for pushing up the map to the enemy zone, while also leaving you vulnerable to long range attacks from said zone. The space between each team's spawn and their zone is pretty open, so taking it back if you lose control is challenging, but very satisfying. The rope fence also helps with this by guiding players horizontally to their zones, while also leaving them vulnerable to attacks. And in first place, we have Duckweed by Jovclack. The bushes and the structures on this map provide plenty of cover for tanks to push up the map, while also creating interesting shooting angles for sharpshooters. Gameplay on this map is very fast paced and can lead to nail biting finishes as each team tries to sneak their way to the enemy safes. The map flows really well and guides players through with vertical bush design and diagonal structure placements. And those are all the finalists in the 500 subscriber map contest. Thank you to everyone who participated in the map contest. There were 24 maps submitted in total, and it was pretty hard to whittle it down to 10. But I'm sure there will be even more in the future. If you want to participate in any of the future map contests, make sure to join the Discord. The link for it will be in the description below. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more if you haven't already. Want to see more maps? Check out the video on screen.